Hey Plant Fam, I hope you all had a great Labor Day weekend. We are actually having some extreme weather here in Denver, so it's a perfect day to look at some extreme plants. I decided to show this plant first on the list because it does have some potential medical properties. Kindia Gangan is a member of the coffee family and it was discovered on sandstone cliffs in West Africa. It does have potential anti-cancer properties that are being studied from extracts. So we could very well be hearing from this plant again. 2019 saw eight new species of spiderwort being discovered. And I chose to showcase this one, Palisoda albanthera, because of the beautiful purple flowers on this thing. Unbelievable. If you are interested in all eight species, they are going to be published in an upcoming edition of Flore du Garbon, so you can check them out there. I have to admit this next plant on my list is the one out of all of them that I lust after the most. And out of all the plants, it is the one that's most likely to go from being extremely rare to widely grown and propagated throughout the world. Or at least a boy can hope. Sirtandra ventata is a member of the African violet family discovered by the Royal Botanic Garden in New Guinea. It's shrub-like and it gets berries after it gets these fantastic flowers. And the cool thing is they didn't know what the flowers were going to look like until after they cultivated and propagated these clippings from the wild and they discovered these amazing candy stripe flowers. Now that's my kind of surprise party. Coleus are known for their leaves, but this coleus gives you flower. Coleus ferricola was discovered during impact studies for an iron ore mine in Guinea, and it is aptly named the iron ore coleus. This is also listed as a vulnerable plant because of the development in the area. So we very well may see this become even more endangered or go extinct in the years to come. Sadly, it isn't uncommon for plants to be discovered in this manner, which brings me to my next plant. This is a member of the Orchids of the Falls family. It's a rubbery seaweed shrub, and many of the other members of this family have gone extinct due to hydroelectric projects in the area. Let's move on to plants that bite back. The next on my list is Nepenthes biac. This obviously is a carnivorous plant, and there are over 150 different species of pitcher plant in the world. This is said to only grow on the Indonesian coast of New Guinea and has recently been added to its own species list. It was lumped together with some other varieties, but they have found it to be its own species of pitcher plant. Scientist Xander Vanderbute found our next plant on two of the last inhabited mountains in Guinea, Gladiolus mariae, and he promptly named the flower after his wife. I want a plant named after me. Probably be poison ivy. Number eight on my list is another member of the coffee family. This was discovered by Charlotte Taylor, who also discovered 22 other new species in the family in 2019 alone. Charlotte is one of the most prolific female taxonomists of all time. She's actually in the top 10 and she has discovered 442 other species of plants on top of what she did in 2019. So number eight on the list is more about Charlotte than the plant, but she rocks. If you're interested in any more information on these plants on my list, I do have references, credits, and links below for all of the plants. And finally, our last plant, an unbelievable plant from Thailand. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of this one. It does translate to mysterious owl's eyes. Come on. This was discovered by the Botanical Society of Thailand at the end of 2019, and I have found very little information on this plant other than it grows on the mountaintops. It's an herbaceous plant that flowers at the end of the rainy season. Other than that, you got me. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight and looking at some out of control plants and make sure to subscribe to Kojo's Tropicals because you never know what you might discover. I'll catch y'all on the next episode.